What's up guys? It's Preeth coming back to a brand new Binding of Isaac video today. We are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 204 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the run, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. I hope you guys are all having a great day because I definitely had a good one. And we start off with Pyromaniac, aka we don't take bomb damage. We also start off with a crawl space card, or the reverse world card, like it's a crawl space. And we get Hemalacria. Hemalacria? Don't even know Alacria. Oh my gosh, if that hit me, I would have been so sad. But we also start off with decent stats 303 tier rate, which is higher than base, and 3.7 damage or something like that, which is higher than base as well. So we are doing quite good. And right here, this is what you do you place a bomb here. You place a bomb here. You regret not placing the bomb in the correct spot the first time. And you get the chest. And you get all your bombs back because the game rewards you being stupid. Um, but yeah, we also get Lost Soul. Hemalacker is actually quite good. The seed for today is C4NJSJHJ. Oh my gosh. I felt like I was rapping. And if you ever, ever seed Lost Soul, don't pick it up until the very end of the floor. Lost Soul dies 9 times out of 10. But, Lost Soul can get you Sacred Heart, Godhead, all the good items. So, like, just know. Don't throw it away. Also, okay, Luck Penny, thank you. And we're doing quite good right now. I mean, Hemalacura by itself is insane. So, I'm happy about it. Some people have been questioning why I don't like Hemalacura in the past sometimes. I just think it, like, does ruin some of your potential in runs. Just a little bit. Just a tiny wee little bit. And I think I'm going to be pretty... I might heavily use we uh, void. This isn't void. What is this? This is abyss. Yeah, this is abyss. I don't know if I if I want to use it or not. Hmm. Also, since I have no money in here, might as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fool card means we drop everything we have. I am gonna immediately drop that. Wait a sec. I'm going to immediately drop that because it can kill me. The reason why I'm saying wait a sec is because for some reason I forgot what button you had to press to not use a card. And I'm like, okay, all I have to do is not press the button that will kill me. If I do that, I will be fine. Also, where is this secret room? What's happening? But yeah, full card does remove all things from your body, which is keys, coins, any consumable. It will also take away all soul hearts and kill you, which I find ki quite dumb. Um, it can kill you, so you got to be careful about that. So you're dead and bad. Oh, bomb. I'm actually having fun with these bombs. Also, I'm just going to find the secret room. What? Where's the bomb? Or where's the secret room? Why is it here? Whose idea was this? It wasn't mine. Guess what? We're gonna use all of our bombs on this floor. I'm not blowing up those two mushrooms. If there was if there was magic mush in those two mushrooms, I'm gonna be sad. But at least we got our toe, which gives us extra luck. Plus, it gives us extra stuff out of tinder rocks and chests. It's actually quite a good trinket. I found that out the other day. It actually works very well. And man, oh man, we are absolutely going crazy. Um, this is a luck up and a health up, so I'm taking it. You can't pass up a luck up, a health up that has extra stats on it. I am going to go to the curse room because we have to do that. Also, if I don't go to the curse room right now, then I'd miss out on my lost soul. So I'm going to shoot all fires because I am prone to walking through fires when I get lost soul. Make sure there's nothing else lost soul can touch that will kill it. Make sure everything's fine. Everything's looking great. Wait, you guys don't get one shot by this? Crazy. We do get pills. Be good. Let's go. Okay, you know what? I like this game. Okay, and we're going to do our best, our absolute best, to take Lost Soul and not have Lost Soul die. Now, if you get BFF with Lost Soul, Lost Soul does get Holy Mantle, which is kind of cool. It means that Lost Soul can take one damage. One whole damage. Can't get any of this stuff, so I'll grab you. Take one whole damage per room, which is very big for Lost Soul. Okay, good. I'm taking Hangman. Uh, 
Do I, I'm taking this with me. Hangman's pretty good, but I'm not going to use it. So we are going to take you with. We are going to get our free stuff. Most likely, it's either going to be Eternal Hearts or Soul Hearts, but it can be an Angel item, which is very, very cool. It's, yeah. For me, it's usually Soul Hearts. Just in the past, that's what it's been. Oh my gosh, I almost instantly lost Lost Soul. So the way that Lost Soul works is Lost Soul will go behind you, but like, it would, depending on where you're shooting, but it's always the worst direction. And so I find Lost Soul to be one of the most atrocious, worst items in this game because it doesn't fall behind you like say, uh, like um, Isaac's heart. So like, it is always just dying like crazy. If you dodge a tier, it will hit Lost Soul. Almost guaranteed. And so it's like, it's really not worth it for like the three extra soul hearts. You get the three extra ones from picking up once, which is pretty nice, but it's a little rough. I really don't like it. Okay, do I want to do this? I might come back and do this. I will indeed go to the curse room so we can maybe get some good item or something. What do you think you're doing? What I really want right now is some crazy combo with Ipecac. Like, Ipecac, Cricket's body would be insane. Anything that is super explosive would be so much fun. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I think we just always go with Little Brimstone. I'm glad we did that because it was bra. I was trying to decide if I wanted to Abyss or take Little Brimstone. But Little Brimstone is pretty good. Um... It does give us, like, this nice little laser shot. But if I abyssed, I could have gone a fly. I don't think I'm going to abyss anything, though. I think my goal is most likely to be a drop abyss at some point. So, I don't need any of that stuff. My health is pretty pretty good as is. I do just hate these guys. I will say that coming to this floor after getting Lost Soul was probably the worst floor I could go on. Because I'm really bad at not taking damage. And there's just a lot of random tiers. Or, yeah, random tiers that go all over the place. So it is a hard floor. I think today I might go for it. Angel deals. Because why not? Yeah, I think I'm going to go strict angel deals. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Oh, there's, no, there's nothing in the shop I need, so I'm not going to get that sticky nickel. I'm playing this so bad. I was just trying to play it fast and loose. All I did is play it bad and not loose. Okay, good. We take you. We get you. And let's just leave. Honestly, I'm very bad at not going in devil deals. I really like going in them, so it's very hard for me to not go in them. Also, let's just... So, Lossal always stays behind us. I will show you in a second exactly how Lost Soul functions, as long as Lost Soul doesn't die first. So Lost Soul will always stay behind you depending where, depending on where you're shooting. The longer you stand still, the closer Lost Soul gets behind you, I believe. I think the more you run, the further it gets. But as soon as you start shooting in a different direction, Lost Soul does get behind you. So goal is don't have Lost Soul die. So that fire. Kind of stupid. Ooh, I love pills. Pretty fly is good. Addicted is fine. And if I can make Lost Soul survive, I'm going to be the happiest camper in the entire world. Because I am so bad. So dang bad. Lost Soul gets hit by the most random stuff that I don't even understand. Like right, right there. Lost Soul not getting hit. Kind of surprising to me. Take you. Come in here. We have to take... The, the items that will get us towards uh, Conjoined. Con Conjoined is really good with Team Alacria, because there is a little bit of a split shot with Team Alacria. Oh, I do not like this. Yeah, right there, it's like, what do I do? I'm trying to keep Lossal alive, but if I, like, I kind of, like, have to stay in the corner, or else Lossal will get hit by something. But also, I kind of just stand under the fountain of poop. So maybe I did the wrong thing. And why is Plan C in the shop? Can I, can I ask that? Plant C is an item that I really don't want. Unless I had nine lives, then there's no need to take it or even risk having it. Now, I could get a free... I could have gotten a free fly there by buying it, threading it down, then voiding it or abyssing it. But I don't think it was worth it. There we go. And we get the instant gratification of getting this. And that makes me so dang sad. Why Genesis? You know what? Genesis is fine. We take Genesis with us. 
because we'll use it at like the end of the run or something. Uh, you can actually use Genesis if you really need to, to skip Cathedral and go directly to um, Chest. But you have to go into Cathedral. So if you, if you go to Cathedral and immediately use Genesis, you'll go to the next floor. Now if you use um, Genesis... If you use Genesis on Womb, it will always take you to Cathedral. It will never take you to Shield because it takes you a floor up for some reason. So we'll do that. And this is just not a speed run, but a fast run. And look at that. I haven't had an item room off the starting room in a long time. And you know what, Blood Puppy? You're going to get rerolled at some point, so I'm taking you with. Nice. And I'm glad to be back to a regular floor because now I have a much higher chance maybe of having lost soul live so I, I'm better at these floors these floors don't have enemies that like do as much stupidness now right here I do have to always make sure I'm shooting oh towards enemies that's kind of your main strat when having lost soul because if you shoot away from enemies or just run away from enemies guess what lost soul will be behind you but if you shoot one direction and run lost soul will not ever go behind you so Imagine Lost Soul could like go on to spikes and die. That'd be sad. Okay, nice. Take you. Sweet. We lose you immediately, of course. Now, a cool strat I could have done right there was I could have used the full card, re-picked up all my soul hearts, picked up the black heart first, and just had the black heart. That would have been a very, very dumb strategy. Like, look at this. Look at that! Look at that! If you dodge a tier, guess what? Lost Soul will get hit. They made the follow distance the perfect length. Now, could I have done that much better? Yes, I will be honest. I kind of threw. I kind of threw. But, listen, hear me out. It's not my fault. It's the game's fault. This is why I just think Lost Soul is atrocious. I was thinking about abyssing it, but I'm like, abyssing something if I'm not like devoted to the abyss is, is bad. And Hemolacry is not the item I want to have when I have Abyss. Or not Abyss. Hemolacry is not the item I want to have when I have Lost Soul. Because you want to like have the type of tiers that can actually continually hit enemies and not have like a weird gap in between. Because now we have like no good knockback. Which is very important to me. I love knockback. And yes, I am just using bombs all willy-nilly because I can. And it's good for me. I can get magic mushies. Now I don't even care. I also just play so bad with Lost Soul. I try to play so weird, and I just end up playing bad. Okay, these guys do a full heart of damage if they touch me. I don't actually have a lot of speed. I kind of just realized that. Which is a little unfortunate. Okay, I need you to die, Blood Puppy. Blood Puppy, worst familiar in game. You try If you try to use Blood Puppy the intended way, it just never works out well, I swear. Blood Puppy is just insane. Too much any any familiar that can do damage back to you is just not worth it. Like anybody who says it's good probably has been hit by it more times in their life than anybody else and just don't want to admit that it's bad. It's really just it's not it's not good. It's not worth it. It'll never be worth it. And also little brimstone sucks with this setup. Right now I've been trying. Actually I could have rerolled uh, Blood Puppy. I realize that now. But yeah. Little Brimstone sucks at this setup because this is not the type of setup where I want to be like just holding down shoot. I want to hold down shoot, move around, shoot again, run around, shoot again. I want to be in control every time I shoot my tier because it the tier rate's way too slow for me to like just hold down. Dang. I think this is very worth it. Okay, and I don't care about Maw of the Void. I know some people might be like, but it has a holding down attack. I don't want holding down attack. I want anything other than holding down attack. And also, I could have rerolled that. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm not using my stuff like I should be. Also, this is where we can go into Necropolis. Of course. Thank you, Lost Soul, for just getting out of here as fast as possible. That way, we won't have to think about you. How kind. And we actually have so much health right now. Blood Puppy is about to go into, like, its ancestral form, where it's just... It's not even called ancestral form. I just made that up. I wanted to say something dramatic. It's about to go into the form where it just ruins my life. 
And this is the thing that the reason I like hesitated on Blood Puppy for a second was because I realized that Blood Puppy can kill Lost Soul. But then I realized Lost Soul is going to be dead before Blood Puppy can do anything. But yeah, Blood Puppy does drop red hearts. Now, if Blood Puppy dropped like half black hearts every like 25 enemy kills or something, it'd be so worth it, but it'd be way too OP. But, like, look at this. It doesn't like the knockback is so bad any charging enemy has really bad knockback where if you hit it it's gonna go very like up or down very hard so you gotta be very careful about that gaming yeah blood puppy blood puppy's just like i don't care about red hearts red hearts are not like a good currency for anything anytime i see red hearts i'm just like well if i had like a if I had a dark bomb, this would be nice. But half the time, I'm full on red heart health. I know I'm not full on red heart health right now. You guys could be quiet. I just got the health up, I'm pretty sure. Didn't I? Did I just use the health up pill, or was that a while ago? I might just be completely wrong. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, it, it, for those who don't know what Genesis is, who might be confused why I haven't used it yet, it is a one-time use item that allows you to completely reroll all your items. But it's a cool reroll. Instead of just randomly re-rolling takes you to this uh, special room where for every item that you have it gives you three options for an item from that pool so you can get really really cool setups so um we might get something pretty interesting who knows but yeah that right there is why we're not using it because you want to use it whenever you have as many items as possible and i do really like my setup right now so it's more of a thing that i'm going to use at the end just for like a fun re-roll instead of using it like now so I can do this real quick I could do boss rush if I really felt like it part of me feels like it I'm gonna be honest part of me really feels like it also with adversary you just stay close it's really that easy I know I got hit a second ago but like you just stay close as soon as adversary is about to do brimstone you just move slightly to the side and you're fine okay thank you we come in here I'm gonna don't want that whatsoever addicted is bad relax is okay you know what let's go do boss rush i know that means we're not going to go mausoleum but i never do boss rush and this is like a good boss rush run i do have a full card just in case boss rush starts going south i do have to make it to the boss fight in four minutes though which is not something i'm good at doing now this right here is 100 percent gonna be the run oh I had the reverse full card I'm so stupid I don't have the full card I'll go get the full card don't you guys worry well there's lost soul I've had r floors where like I fight hush I fought hush before and through the entire hush fight I somehow like had lost soul survive which is crazy like how is that even possible I'll buy you I'll do this we don't need our reverse full card all we need all I need is you okay thank you we take you we keep on running to the boss fight and the boss fight has to be up here why because i said so and if it's not up here i will be sad okay blood puppy you have yeeted your last yaw thank you for doing sir sir serving your country okay don't want any of this i have a full card so i can get out of here for freebies oh my gosh i'm just throwing at this point I don't want the chest right now. I need to, like, conserve all my health if possible. I'm not fighting this room. I hate ghosts. Ghosts are so annoying. Today is my full annoyed run game. Brought to you by Red Bull. I was thinking about today. Like, Red Bull seems like the coolest company to be sponsored by. Anybody who's sponsored by Red Bull, cool person. Certifiably cool. And, like, getting free, free Red Bull. Red Bull is 100% the best, like, canned energy drink ever if you don't agree with me then you probably just don't like energy drinks and that's fair you know they all kind of suck how am i just doing so bad i know i skipped a whole item room last floor don't think i didn't think to see that but i just haven't been getting that many damage ups i got a single damage up but like my tier rate up it or my tier rate is just so bad that i can't do much i'm really bad at hitting slow tier rate shots unless it's like 1.5 is where it starts to get a little easier but right now i'm trying to use a little brimstone just to do a little bit of extra damage so i'm just holding down like crazy please be something crazy in this boss rush 
I've not made it to boss rush in a long time. That's crazy. Um, I will. I'm actually gonna grab you for the damage. Come in here. I don't want any either of these, if I'm being honest. But what I will do. Ooh, that's insane. I'm actually gonna grab both of these because anything I can reroll later is okay to grab. They might be like, you should have grabbed all of the void. It was a two hard item. I really don't want a two hard item. It's just gonna reroll into a worse item later, and it's already bad. And please tell me none of this stuff isn't just all bad. You know what? I don't care. We're going crazy mode. Is this a bad idea? Very bad idea. But we still have damage. You know what? It's fine. I think we... It seems like we're still doing a lot of damage. I'm probably just going to teleport out of here. Not going to lie. This does not seem very fun. I'm probably going to very quickly, in a pretty reasonable fashion, use Genesis soon. Because the setup ain't it, Chief. And Libra, Libra's a really bad item. It used to be one of the best items in the entire game. No matter when you picked it up, it was just insane. Um, because, actually, it wasn't, I guess, it wasn't always, like, the best item. But, uh, back, back in the good old days of Afterbirth Plus, if you had Soy Milk and Libra, you just won the game. It was pretty much as if you had Rock Bottom and picked up Soy Milk. It was not, it wasn't exactly like that, but, like, it did a very good job of like sorting your stats all over the place because it didn't take into account like any tier caps. I think nowadays it does take into account tier caps and now it's just is very garbage and doesn't work that well. They did try to buff it, but they already ruined it so much whenever they first uh, nerfed it in Repentance that it is kind of like just not good. Now, of course, I would say it's, it's not OP anymore, which is nice, but that's that's what was so fun about it was it was really OP with certain setups. Now it's just not OP with any setup. Like right now, I got pretty much base stats. I don't know why I'm doing so much damage though, but I got pretty much base stats. Also, Blood Puppy, I'm letting you survive right now out of the grace of just me. You're actually doing damage as well. And while I teleport out of here, the world may never know. Oh my gosh, I thought that was Blood Puppy for a second. I was like, dang, Blood Puppy got big when I looked away. <laughs> nope, Blood Puppy's just not this. And we're fine. Also, we're getting close to level 2 Blood Puppy. Which, level 2 Blood Puppy does a dump, like 60 contact damage, which is actually really good. But still, doesn't make Blood Puppy good enough to, like, out that enough for me to ever consider good. Oh, it's level 2 Blood Puppy who can now destroy his rocks as well. Blood Puppy, go off. What if Blood Puppy just carries me through this? Oh my gosh, Blood Puppy is just carrying me through this. Now, this is the part where I take back everything I said about Blood Puppy, but still, later in life, say that Blood Puppy's bad. I don't, don't even know. Guys, you guys need to watch out. This Blood Puppy fella, actually insane. I can't even control Blood Puppy. Now, I feel like there are, like, there are some small changes that can be made to Blood Puppy that would actually make Blood Puppy useful. Do I know what those changes are? Can I think of any changes that I think would be good? No, I can't. I just think that Blood Puppy... I don't know. It's just... Blood Puppy is just too aggro. Blood Puppy is like worse Dark Aesaw. Think about that. What's worse than Dark Aesaw? Nothing. Okay, where are you? Where? You're about to blow up my Blood Puppy. I know it. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Stinky. Oh, go against this guy first. Get out of here. Ah. Do we get, like, an inherent damage up from Hemolacria? I feel like I do. So I'm sorry, Blood Puppy. Don't let them hurt you. Not haunt. Okay, listen. Spider- Spider-Man? Don't do this to me. Uh-oh. Blood Puppy's about to go yucky mode. Yeah. I saw that coming from a mile away. Blood Puppy was just going to go crazy no matter what. So why are we getting all the enemies that can just like go invincible or go underground that make Blood Puppy not as useful? I mean, Blood Puppy is going crazy right now, so it's all good. I am losing all my health. Slowly but surely. Oh no. Blood Puppy's not going to dash towards me? Let's go. That's actually sick. Okay, well. Level 2 Blood Puppy is a little dangerous, but... Trying to dodge it floor to floor sucks. If Blood Puppy didn't spawn in the center of the room, it'd be sick. 
I think that's one of my biggest issues. Every time you run to a room, it's like, oh, well, Blood Puppy's there. Same same reason I don't like, um, I mean, same but different reason. Same reason I don't like Ice Cube Baby, because literally every time you enter a room, you literally just have to, like, physics destroy, like, destroy the physics of the game by, sh like, making a Ice Cube go Mach 7. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's all cool and dandy. I cannot, I don't do any damage. I'm literally not the one fighting this. It is all Blood Puppy. I do realize this now. And Blood Puppy, I trust this one time. I almost did get hit by that. I don't even... How much longer is this fight going to go on for? Bro, you got to watch out. I'm, I'm not running away from the enemies. I'm running away from Blood Puppy. The enemies don't scare me anymore. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in this arena with them. I'm trying to survive as well. Blood Puppy? Listen, I don't know how you're not dead yet. Oh, wow. Hey, 9 Inch Nails is at least okay, but, like, watch this. Like, our stats go up by 0.1. Like, look at this. Our stats are worse than base stats. They're worse than the stats we literally started with. Like, what is this? I think we just had really bad range or something. But now is the time that I actually do have to put Blood Puppy down. Sorry, Blood Puppy. Salute. That hurt my eye. I poked my eye. Oh. That's the end of me. Do I care enough to, like, actually full clear this lore? No. But. Yes. I could go to Beast. Now, I have been informed that Beast has been fixed, so Hemolacria actually works. I don't know how long ago this, this thing was how long ago they fixed it but apparently it was fixed also i still do a lot of damage i'm quite confused about all of this like why do i do so much damage i think there's some inherent damage boost with hemolacria that the game can't take away so this is so fun you know just shoot shooting a straight line love love doing it okay let's come down here And yeah, Libra was not a good option. I literally just got hit by a slowed tier. That's like having having a tee ball, a ball in a tee, and missing it when you swing at it. How did I do it? The world may never know. Get out of here. Okay, well, so far this has not been worth it, but I have high hopes. I have high, high hopes for a living. Something about shooting stars. Something about living. Poetic, I know. Ooh, wow. How unfortunate. Okay. I was like, yeah, this was. There's a reason why I decided to full clear. Now I realize there was not a single reason. Oh my gosh. Can I be any worse at this game? I think the answer is no. Now, one thing that's pretty cool is I'm just, as soon as I get, like, low on health and I'm about to die, I'm just going to use Genesis. Now, Genesis, is it going to help me much? No. But can it maybe Soul do something cool? Destiny. Maybe. Solid, maybe. And, of course, I am going to pay you out for the extra health because, listen, I'm struggling out here. And those guys don't always drop health, so me just guessing it was health was not, like, a good guess or anything. It... It's, it's, it's almost a bad way to go into that. And that right there is why I took this. You might have been like, that's weird. Why is he not taking the full card? Which he full carded out to get. Because ghosts scare me more than anything else in this game. So I must run away from my fears and not oppose it. But here we go. So let's get a schmoove on. And we are going down this way. And we are going to Sheol. So we are going to get a bunch of devil deals. So hopefully, the way the way I want to do this is I want to get all the way to Dark Room and then use Genesis. Like, that is my, my dream scenario right now. Because I can lose all my health and then get it all back or, like, have decent health still after I Genesis. So that is the play. So this is okay. Now, should I have gone a different path? Yes. I definitely should have. Did the extra damage maybe help me right there? No, because I still got Libra, which kind of ruined all my damage forever and ever. But, and this is a big but. 
I have the willpower and the the it's competitive drive to not die until I get there. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm gonna be honest. I just took so much. Da I took a big hit of damage. This room is a little rough. That's one of those rooms that if you have a really strong run, you don't have to think about. But on like a run like this, I had to think about it a little bit. I didn't even realize that was a spike chat. This game is literally throwing everything my way to make me have the saddest experience possible. Now, am I gonna am I gonna let it bring me down? No, never. Maybe, never. Come on, pestilence. I got seven seals for a reason. So that you can carry me through this run. I forgot we do have go ahead. Which is supposed to be good for us. But it's not good. Okay, Leviathan gives us health, but we can't actually get Leviathan. So, I'm okay with this. And Sanguine Bond, remember, the reason I took it was 100%, 100%, because I wanted... Lost Soul survived. That was beautiful. Lost Soul, you know what? You came in clutch. I got Sanguine Bond just so it can get rerolled. And that right there was the luckiest secret room ever. I'm just like, I'm just going to bomb here because maybe in some crazy realm that will, it's going to work. And look at this. Okay, you are crazy. You are a maniac. How are you hitting me so much? Please, game. Now, I do like my tier 8 now. This is a much better tier 8 with Hemalacria. But it doesn't help me really much. And I think we just go back this way. I feel like the boss, this boss is over this way. Oh, this is where Lost Soul can die so easy. The, the womb floor, Lost Soul, equals one of the worst times possible. Any laser eye will just absolutely yeet Lost Soul away. Any sort of worm will actually just go crazy and eat lo yeet Lost Soul away. Anything you do, let me be honest, will just destroy Lost Soul. Now, worms as well. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on worms. They will spawn behind you where you're most vulnerable and yeet Lost Soul away. And this is all to say, I still just don't like Lost Soul. Lost Soul... If I see Lost Soul and I have a reroll machine, you already know Lost Soul is getting rerolled. And look at that. I didn't take damage. I don't even know what. I don't even know what. I, there's some sort of bomb somewhere. And look at. Okay, you know what? Maybe this is. This is where the run turns around slightly. Oh my gosh. Andy gave me a free item. This game is too nice. Andy gave me two whole bombs. I gotta say, this game is kind of coming in clutch. Now. I'm gonna be honest, Lost Soul would have died in this room. I'm almost positive. So I'm not really too mad I lost Lost Soul. I'm actually sur surprised we had Lost Soul for as long as we did. What I am mad about is that the fact we lost Lost Soul to a reason unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst? Unbeknownst? One of the words to me. I'm gonna take you, get my conjoined like I wanted, and look at us. We are a force to be reckoned with. Also, you two are not good items. Now, at this point, I'm trying to save up my health as much as possible. We should be able to kill all these rooms relatively easily. Oh, my gosh. If Lost Soul survives this room... Please pop up. Please pop up. How Lost Soul, you are a brave soldier. Now... The fact that Lost Soul survived that room as well, I am actually flabbergasted. Lost Soul, you're actually doing so well. I'm not proud of you. I'm just proud with you. Oh! My gosh. No, like, Lost Soul dies in the dumbest ways. I can't even explain to you how dumb that just was. Like, how did I not get hit? No way, dude. No way the game does this to me. No way. No. Why? Well, you already know I'm already full clearing this floor. I will get a way to get over there. 
That is probably the worst thing I've ever seen in this game. I'm going to be honest. Everything before that has just been wiped out of my brain. Did I say that Lost Soul was the worst thing ever? Maybe. Did, like, things happen that I said were awful? Yes. Did I say Libra is bad? Maybe. But nothing is worse than the atrocities dealt to me on this day. Like, who just get, puts Magic Mush in the middle of a room? You know the chances of that happening? Like, super, super low. Like, really not something that should happen, ever. But it happened to me. And it, even worse, it happened to a spot where, in a spot I can't get it. Okay, this is our hope. This can give us a card. Now, what card are you? You're the stars card. Oh, we have... Is Cancer better? So that's minus... No, it's Cancer's actually worse. You can tell it's worse because you see more stat, stat downs. Please give me a card. That's Chariot. Almost better. Hey, we got a lot of health from that, though. I'm actually surprised we got so much health. For some reason, I'm like, we can't get hit by fire. Why can't, why can't I take damage against fires? We have Pyromaniac, you know? Why is Pyromaniac not an anti-fire damage? You might be like, that's dumb. No, it's actually the smartest thing I think I've ever said in my life. Okay, Magic Mush. The more you make me dance, the more mad I get. Okay, we already knew the secret room wasn't there. Okay, it's time to bomb skulls. Every time I see a card, it actually gets me so excited. I, I don't know how to dodge those guys, I'm gonna be honest. That's on me. Now, is there a way for me to do, like, some super jump? You know, something crazy with a bomb. Now, if I had how to jump, this would be cool. My whole world has been turned upside down. The game did the beautiful thing. Oh, please. Please. This can hold three cards in it. It's either going to be three cards, three pills, and an item. One sec. One sec. No. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be perfect. It's going to give us flight. It's going to give us flight. It's going to give us flight. It has to give me flight, right? It's gotta do something special. Metronome would never do something bad. Okay, give us Bozo for the room. Okay, that's not what I expected. The fact that that chest can give me three cards, three pills are rarely an item, and it gives me like the rare item. Like why? Why do you do such things to me, game? You have bamboozled me and ruined everything. Okay. The chance of us getting an item with flight are about, I would say, 13 and 637. Now, or 723. Something like that. I don't know how many items are in this game. It's so There's 637 achievements. I don't need the he extra health. Hey, wait. We actually get to keep that health. Yo, that's actually kind of sick. Metronome might be good. Now, Metronome could Arceus, which wouldn't be the worst. It wouldn't be the best. Also, I could have gone Hush. Actually, no, I couldn't have. I realize now that you have to do it in 30 minutes. I did not do it in 30 minutes. Okay. There are more skulls for me to blow up. Okay. And why are we blowing up all the skulls? Because they can give us cards. You know what cards can do? They can give us flight. You know what flight can do? Flight can give us magic mush. You know what magic mush can do? Magic mush can give us the world. And that's why we are doing everything we possibly can within my power to do what I am doing at this moment. All I need, all I need is just a smidge of flight. Now, that was my shadow. That would have been so cool if that Judicious Shadow actually worked right there. But... We only have a couple more chances. And you might be like, why are you doing this? Is it worth it? Yes. If I can get Magic Mush randomly spawn in a room, I can get Metronome to, to allow me to fly. We actually do so much damage. I'm really confused why we do so much damage. Like, our damage is not high. 
This is one of those runs where it's like our damage. We have so much more damage than we should have. And there's runs that we have like 10 damage and it feels like we're doing no damage. But there we go. Okay. I have faith right here. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually pretty sure. I might. I'm going to do something right now. I just remembered. I just remembered. I think this is how it works. If you use... If you use... What is this called again? If you use Genesis on this floor, it will bring you back to this floor, I believe. Because it can't take you to the next floor. Is this, is this what it has come to? This is what it's come to. Okay. Well, it's gonna. So this is one thing that sucks is if you get an active item in this room, it's never fun because what happens is you get another active item later, so it's gonna get replaced. We take you. All we're looking for is flight. All we're looking for is flight, and tier eight's good. But flight is all we're looking for, and we look so cool. And I don't want an active item. I really don't want Pound of Flesh either. We want you. <sighs> Strange Attractor would be nice if it could actually help us. I'll take it because it's fun. Tear Rate Up is good. Piercing Damage is good. Damage Up is good. Abaddon is going to make me go... Yeah, Abaddon's bad right here because it will make me lose my red hearts, and I like my red hearts. Um, this gives me health, so I take that. That was scary for a second. I need not shoot. Um, since I have so many tears, I'll take you. Um, this right here should give me a speed up if I take it, so I will go for the damage up. Fire Brimstone, don't want that. Seven, actually I do like Hungry Soul. Money equals power is actually not too bad. I'm actually gonna take Money equals power. I don't care about the other two. Virgo is fine. Eden's Blessing is insane. Uh, this is a tier delay, a tier delay item, so we get, oh, we can get good stuff. And that was so sad. Also, I probably should have just taken Abaddon since I do have a bedroom right here. But look at this. I can trade you out. Now we have a guppy item. We have filigree feather, which is pretty interesting. Well. Oh, never mind. It, we got to skip Satan. And so we lost magic much forever. It's fine. Well, I'm taking this 100%. This is what we earned. This is what we did this run for. So we could miss magic mush and this could happen. Oh my gosh, wait a second. I need to like stop taking damage for a second. I'm taking way more damage than should be that than it than should be humanly possible. Okay, my damage just really isn't high. I kind of just realized that. Brimstone does this kind of gross thing where it does I it does, it lowers your tier rate, not your damage. I don't know why my damage is so low. I thought I picked up a lot of damage items there. I guess I didn't. Oh, I'm stupid. What I was thinking about is if you use Genesis on uh, Chester Darkroom, it just takes you back to Chester Darkroom since you can't go any further than that. So that's what I was thinking about. So that's on me. But you know what? Satan, you don't have to fight Satan. There's no reason to fight Satan. Um, I'll take you for the damage up. I will reroll both of these. And honestly... I'm taking Lazrax. If we die and come back to life, we have more damage, and it's just gonna like solidify the fact that we can maybe win this run with the power of love and devotion. So Hungry Soul actually such a clutch item sometimes. I don't have Pyromaniac anymore. I was like, I literally just ate that bomb. I was like, I was starting to shoot it away. Then I'm like, you know, what? I'm fine. I like how the game gave me the shovel. That's kind of nice of it. Even though I, I did, it's gone now. I know. 
but it gave it to me for a second. I could I could be rerolling a lot of these items. Give me a chest. No chest. If this doesn't give me an item, then I am just gonna go reroll the devil deal. Actually, that's a dumb plan. I'm not gonna reroll the devil deal. Ooh, takes away. Oh wait, does that take away my keepy? What does that take away? I'm actually so lost. What is that gonna take away? I think it takes away stapler. Cause I start, I, I think it takes away stapler. I don't know what the starter card takes away. Okay, luck up is fine. I think I would have been so much better off if I just didn't take brimstone. If I'm being 100% honest. But what I'm better off with is a secret room. Okay. We're fine. I just need a secret room, please. Have I bombed here? I think I did bomb here. I 100% bombed there. Did I? Yes, I did. Did I bomb here? Yes, I did. Did I bomb to the left of this room? No, I didn't. There we go. Okay, I'm very confused what this stars card is gonna do. I mean, it removes the oldest passive item, ignoring starting items. So I think that's gonna be stapler. Yeah, I got rid, oh, got rid of stapler for this. Okay, well we take rock bottom, we reroll you. Do I want this? Interesting. Well, I'll take this with for now. If I need a reroll, I can. Actually, I'm gonna leave this down because I can. I need to get charged stuff on my D6. This run has been so, so whack. Now, what's bad about getting rock bottom at this point is it's actually useless. I Like, unless I get a couple more... If I get more money at this point, then guess what? I get to keep that higher stat, but I have to lose that money to, like, not have the higher stat. I also guess Lazrax kind of works, but I'm not going to... I don't know. There's actually really no use of me having rock bottom at this point, other than the fact that I am going to clickbait it, and you guys are going to get absolutely bamboozled. Also, Magic Mush is going to be... In the thumbnail. It's going to be called the Mush Incident. I already thought about the whole title. This is what I do. This is what I do when I'm actually like talking nonsense. I'm thinking about what the title is going to be. Because that's the hardest part to do about making these videos. Is coming up with a title every day. Like, I don't know. You get like four bad items. And you have to come up with a title for that. How am I supposed to know? Okay. No chest. Well, I'm not even going to use spin down die. We're just going to go crazy here. Now, this is the good news right here, right? Is if we die, we actually come back to life and we have like extra health. Also, since I Genesis, I could have just gone Cathedral and gone straight to chest. Now that I realize that you can just skip floors like that, that is a. I could have just not gone Dark Room. But there we go. That right there is just going to be the end of the run. I'm not going to go any further because I don't think there's any need. I can't beat Delirium with this setup. I don't do enough damage. But overall, that was a crazy run. The Magic Mush thing honestly just put me off. It makes me so sad. But it was a great run all around. The Hemolacry in the start with all the good... Our start was really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Right, That right there was win number 104 in a row. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel. helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.